Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number one of the Road to Glory career mode on FIFA 19. As requested, you know, people did want me to do a sort of Road to Glory career mode. Um, you could say the kind of career mode is, but it's it's not uh, like a classic career mode Road to Glory where you start off right in the bottom league. So this is what we're doing. The, first, the main team that I did see was uh, Yeovil Town. Uh, I will try to remember to put a clip, or not a clip, a um, screenshot of the comment which was left. Um, to, just to show you that um, it was suggested uh, a couple of times. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the first episode. If you are excited for this Road to Glory career mode, then please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you are new to the channel, which uh, would be really appreciated from me. Now... What I think I'm going to do for this series is probably have one episode a week um, on a Saturday, but I'm going to have maybe longer episodes. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do it, but this is the start. This is coming out tonight, uh, Saturday on the 22nd. Uh, hopefully, if everything goes well, then it will. Um, so this is what we're working with, Yeovil Town. Now, obviously, you know we're going to do the classic um, Mr. Basil, um, because that is the channel name. I'm going to go for... One of the younger guys, I think, for this. I'm going to go for this guy. This guy, why not? Let's go with this guy. And um, obviously, we're going to be playing our ultimate, which is going to be a struggle. We're going to play four minute halves because we're playing in the bottom league. And I want to try and get to this like highest league as soon as possible. So that's what I'm going to do for that. And yeah, guys, um, I am really excited to do this because obviously... Playing an ultimate using players that are probably like below 70 rated is going to be quite the struggle. Um, obviously, we've only, we've only got 900 grand in terms of transfer budget, but I'm going to have to put it all into wages so I can bring in loads of young players on loan or buy free agents. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. So this is the part of the episode where I say, give me some suggestions for players to either sign, loan, or maybe from like free agents or something like that because I don't really know what to do in terms of buying players do i buy try and buy maybe one player big player uh or do i loan a load of youngsters uh in terms of that um unfortunately i'm gonna have to save over the dortmund career mode which is one of my stream it's one of my stream ones uh but i haven't had time to stream as much so i'm gonna have to save over see this is an issue they don't have more than four slate uh more not slaves more save slots which is rather annoying but um yeah that is very annoying anyway Boom, pre-season. I'm obviously going to accept it. Uh, we're going to probably take the, we'll probably take this one. It's the lowest rated and it's got the most money in it. So now what we do is we look at the squads. Now, I'm not expecting anything big here. We're a one-star rated team. Actually, I'll check the emails first, obviously. Uh, that's about the international, no, that's about the pre-season tournament. Um, transfer market, okay. Our vision, the expectations. Right, let's go look at the objectives. FA Cup, reach round 32. League 2, gain automatic promotion. Grow one Youth Academy player by at least 5 overall points as soon as they grow. They have to play 5 matches either as a starting 11 or as a sub. Okay. Um, obviously, we just read that. Sell out at least 85% attendance. Okay, that's not too bad. If we do very good, if we have very good form, then that will happen. No objectives for continental success. Yeah, for, right, League 2, gain automatic promotion, FA Cup, round 32. Okay, and financial, finish the season with a profit of 8.8 .8 million. Wow, that is, um, okay, that's quite a lot, but hopefully we can do that if we get promoted, which I think we could. Scout report has, re oh, okay, that's for the, um, okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then, boom, this is the, one of the scouts, okay. Um, so, yeah. We've got some decent um, stuff to do there. Now, obviously, I'm going to look through this. It looks like they play a 4-4-2. I think I'm going to play the 4-4-2 as well, by the way. Um, the classic 4-4-2. I mean, the team doesn't look that bad, to be honest. How old's this guy? 34. Okay, no wonder he's on the reserves. Um, right. Obviously, I'm not used to this team, so I don't really know what players are good, what players are bad, or what positions I need to actually improve on. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I'm going to let you guys go out put in the comments of players you want me to sign what positions you want me to use what players from uh, the subs or the reserves you want me to use who not to use and stuff like that um i will go out myself and look at the loan list maybe the transfer list and um try and get some players of my own uh in terms of buying and trying to get some players uh 
and then I'll obviously share them with you. If you agree, then good. Happy days. Uh, I will. So we've got 1.5 million with 7k wage budget. Okay, it's not. It's actually all right. It's all right. <laughs> anyway, um, for now, we're gonna move on into. I'm probably gonna go grab a. Actually, no. I'm gonna go off screen and I'll go look for some youth players and stuff like that. Maybe make one young loan signing, and uh, we're gonna probably play this. Actually, no, I don't know. If we'll either sim or play the preseason tournament this episode, I'm not too sure if I'm going to play it or sim it. But yeah, um, I hope you guys are in, excited for the this new series, and um, I hope it brings us good success. So yeah, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to jump in, like I said, maybe pick up a lone player or sim through the season um, game by game. So yeah, uh, sorry, not the season, the preseason tournament. I'll sim it game by game, and I will talk to you guys then. See you in a second. Right guys, as you can see here, we're at the first game of the pre-season tournament at home against um, Grobspatch. Don't know how you pronounce that, you know. Not, yeah, not really um, sure. But anyway, first one of the season, first ever game for Yeovil. Can we get the win? Now that is the question. I don't really expect us to, I'm not sure if I'm expecting us to get out of the group, you know. Um... Yeah, I'm not too sure, but they've gone 1-0 up. That is not a good sign. Oh, wait, 1-1. One, one. Boom. Arquin has just scored to level it up. Are we going to get a draw? Okay, we get a draw in the first game of the preseason tournament. That's not too bad, you know. Um, the next game is against Shamrock Rovers of all opposition. And then we have a game against Hamilton, who are probably favourites for this. Not going to lie. Um, Shamrock playing them away. Um, they're in the Irish League, uh, obviously. Um, I don't know what to expect. Hamilton is 1-1 in the other game in the group. Uh, still 0-0 in our game, though. Approaching half-time. Can we find something? Can Fisher, McDonald, someone score for us? Green, maybe. Anyone. Is anyone going to score? It's still 0-0. It's still 0-0. Is it going to be a draw? Wow. Okay, another draw. That's not good. Um, did Hamilton beat? Yeah, they did. So we are seconds. If we can get a result against Hamilton, that'd be great. Uh, I don't care about international management um, anytime soon, to be honest. I'm happy as I am. I'm gonna do tr definitely gonna be doing training in this um, career mode as well. Uh, you know, in my previous tra uh, career modes, I don't do training, but I think it will benefit me doing training for players in this career mode. So Hamilton have won the last two. I don't really expect us to win. Because um, Hamilton have won both games so far, but you never know. We could make an upset in this preseason tournament, um, which is maybe going to happen. It's still nil nil. So if we get if we get a point here, and the other two teams draw, we could potentially still go. Oh, they scored! Wow, Taiwo or Taiwo. Wow. Okay, I think we're out of the cup preseason cup because we the other two teams. We're playing each other. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, we got an extra 264 grand. It's not actually that bad. We didn't get any injuries either, um, which is decent. Um, I'm going to go over to the transfer list right now. Well, not transfer list, the transfer hub, and show you guys a couple of players which I've been looking at. Now, obviously, this guy popped up on the Global Network. I don't know if I'm going to have enough for him. Ryan, uh, yeah, Ryan Brewster was actually one of the youngsters on loan. Uh, he's on the loan list. He's 62 rated. Uh, I am Hudson Adoy as well, another one who I'm waiting for to get back to me. But um, Brewster, I think, is going to be the first player we approach to loan. Now, will I get him? I'm not too sure. It just all depends. Um, do I want a one-year loan? I think for the first season, I want a one-year loan. Now, the question is, they want they want to do 60-40. How about... 50-50. Boom. 50-50. So, Brewster, it's all about him now if he um, wants it or not. If he wants to join or not um, on loan. So, I'm going to stay with it with you guys now um, before I see, see what he says. Rejected. Ah, oh, so annoying. Why? Why? Why has he rejected that? Probably because we're in the lowest league. No. So this guy's 63 graded. Um, how much is he worth though? 300. How much is he? 
How much is? So he's higher rated than the strikers we currently have. I'm going to leave him there. Brewster, unfortunately, has to go. Hudson Odoi, I'm going to wait to see what his rating is. So I was going to hopefully make a um, a signing in this episode, but clearly not. Because I don't want to... I kind of want to wait. Oh, there you go. Hudson Odoi scout report is back. We've got a transfer offer for Brown, I think that is. Or um, Brown. I'm not going to accept that. Um, Hudson Odoi final scout report. 70 rated. Oh, wow. Because obviously he's now getting into the Chelsea squad in real life. So that's why oh, he's probably not going to... He will not join on loan. There's no chance. I mean, we can always try. You know, we can always try. Hmm. Let's do another one. Just a one year loan, hopefully. Okay. So, how are we going to do this? They'll obviously want me to pay more. Oh, wow. 11k. 55. Okay. Okay. Now, it's all up to him if he wants to join. I mean, if he, if he does, that is a great snap up for us. I don't know if he will. I don't think he will. Yeah, rejected. I knew he, I knew he wasn't going to, but I, I wanted to try at least. So it's not go, it's not going well so far, is it? Um, in terms of this, going to get rid of Hudson Odoi. Now Royon is the one that's here, sixty three rated. I mean, he could do for a few seasons. It's just the question is, what strikers do we have at the club already? We got two up here, Fisher, who is twenty eight, and we got. This young guy, uh, Jayesamin, Jayesami, Jayesami. I don't know how you pronounce that. And then we've got this youngster on the bench as well. So we don't really need him. We've got a load of right mids as well in the club, which is not that great. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what I want to do. I need to put him on the bench because we've got too many right mids. Um, I wouldn't even have a centre mid on the bench either, so I'll put him on the bench. But yeah, I'm going to leave up to you guys um, in terms of transfers because I'm not too sure. I'm really not sure what I want to do. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What, uh, it's just hard because young Premier League youngsters, they're not going to come to the pre uh, League 2. Um, we've got a big offer here for our centre-back, 22 years of age. I'm going to reject that. Um, it's, he's our cap he's a captain, I'm pretty sure. He had the armband on. Yeah, he is. Okay, that's fine. Um, in terms of the calendar... When is the first game of the season? Wow, look at that for a schedule, by the way. We're playing Bur uh, Burry or Burry, Mansfield. Then we got Leeds in the Carabao Cup, which is a joke. Already getting a hard championship team. Then we have Notts County, Oldham, and I think Steven yeah Stevenage for August. That is a chocker blocker um, season. That. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. And Luton Town in the Checker Trade Trophy. Uh, I'm just going to look, look through the um, schedule in terms of games. Most of them are every Saturday. Then you've got games like this on a Friday or midweek game. Um, so yeah, it's not too... Wow, in June we, and May we have one game. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, it looks very action-packed. Um, I think for the first game... Do I add the first game in this episode? You know what, I think... Oh, wait, did I sim to that game? Please say I didn't sim over it. I'm pretty sure it will finish on that game. Because if it doesn't, then I've just skipped past the first game of the season, which I did not want to do. Hopefully it stops, because I want to... I think I'm going to play this game first, you know? Okay, so it's perfect. Right. Okay, there's a lot of stuff which um, I'm going to reject all of those. Um... I don't want to sell any. I'm not selling anyone because I don't really need. It's not it's like I need the money to be honest. I'd just rather keep my players. Um, but yeah. So this is the first game of the season. I think I will be playing this game in this episode. So yeah, let's get into this first game of the season. All right, guys. Here we are in the first game of the season in League Two. Yeovil Town start off their road to glory. In League Two, right now. Great pass down to McDonald's. Going to take it past the defender. No, we're not. But we do win the ball back. Ah, oh, it's unlucky there from the striker. Nice positive start for Yeovil. 
Nice play here. Can someone else make a run? Yep. Can we play out to the winger? No, but he's still got the ball somehow. McDonald's. Oh, my God. It's a weak effort. Not a great effort at all. Nice play again from Yeovil. Into Fisher. Fisher, can he find someone? He's going to play it to the left back. Going to hold the ball up with Dickinson. Inside to Patterson. Out to Green. Lays it off to James. Back to... Oh, it's not a good pass. Now we're going to get hit with a counter-attack here. Can we get the ball back? Oh, no, that's a great pass. Maynard on the ball. Can we get a good tackle in? We can. Can we get the ball back? Maynard's still got the ball. Good tackle there from Green. Tracking back there, the right mid. And we do take the ball out and go on a counter-attack of our own with James. Inside to Fisher. Can he get it back to Fisher? No, it's a poor touch. The first touches on some of these players is awful. Oh, here we go. Pat Patson with the ball now. Oh, can he dink in Fisher over the top? Oh, it's not going to reach Fisher. Good idea there from Patterson. Or Patson, sorry, not Patterson. <laughs> can we dink the ball over to Green? Green is through, kind of. Oh, it's a nice little touch from Green. Green's still going. Can he finish? Green! Oh! Good save from Murphy, the keeper there. Nice run from Green. Nearly getting the first goal there for Yeovil. Can we get a goal before half time? We're pressing on. Fisher now. Fisher with the strike. We're going to get our first corner of this season. Ball's going to get whipped in towards Fisher. Centre back's there. Not going to get it. Can we get a chance? Before the halftime whistle goes. James. No, ref. You can't blow there. Fish is on the edge of the box. Anyway. Halftime. Nil, nil is the score. Green on the ball. Can we boot one up to Fisher? It's not going to reach him. And Barry come away with the ball. Good tackle from Patson. Playing it down to McDonald's. Can he get the legs on the defender here? He can. Into Patson. Inside, oh, it's not a good pass again. The passing is very awful. Um, I might make some subs soon, but we carry on as we are. Oh, Fish has nicked it here. Can he? He needs some help. Oh, what a great ball that is. Can we finish? Oh, what a goal! Let's go! I don't know who this is because the name didn't pop up above his head, but it's 1 0 to Yeovil. Tom James getting the first goal of the season. What a goal that was. What a pass that was from the young striker. And Almeida's going to come off. Or Almeida is coming off. Giving a fresh bit of fresh legs in the midfield. And it's 1-0 to Yeovil Town. Fisher on the ball. Patson. Good block. Ah, oh, We've got another chance here. Bailey just fresh on the pitch. Dickinson. Patterson. And I keep saying his name wrong. But that's not a good shot. And um, yeah. But I will take that. We are 1-0 up in this game. Fisher on the ball. Can he play in green? He can. That's a nice pass. Green. He's going to cut inside. Green. Inside to Fisher. Can he finish it? Oh, what is that? What is that finish? Oh, my God. That was awful from Fisher. He needs to be doing better than that if he wants to get the goals this season. What a miss. I'm going to wait for Green's run. It's actually not a bad pass getting it in the corner, but Green cannot get it. We need to get the ball back here. There's only four or five, no, four or three minutes left now. Can we keep this lead and get our first league win of the season? Donald on the ball. Oh, he still won it somehow. Oh, into Fisher. Laying it back. Patson, oh, what an awful attempt, but it does not matter. We have won the game 1 0. Yeovil Town are the winners. What a start to the league season. Um, 1 0. They only had one shot. We had 10. Only had two on target, though, which is not great. This is going to be the end of the episode. If you did enjoy, please leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.